Hey guys, welcome back to Taylor's Farm Life. And in today's video, I'm basically going to be doing my bunny routine. So right now, it's not really morning. As you guys can see, it's kind of like in the afternoon. It's not really like evening yet, but yeah. And so right now, I'm just going to do my bunny routine. So let's just go ahead and get into this video. walk over to their coop area. Usually I'm outside anyway because I usually spend most of my days outside playing or climbing trees or something like that. So anyway, I just walk into their pen and this is their hutch right there. And I'm basically just going to be showing you my rabbit carrot and basically what I do. So the first thing I typically do in here is I go over here and I just turn on the light and then, so right now it's like mid-afternoon, but anyway, the first thing I typically do when I come up here is I drink the water, and since it's kind of winter in Idaho, it's usually frozen, so right now there's like a big chunk of ice in the middle of this water that I do need to defrost, because otherwise they can have some water come out, but it's really going to be cold, and it's just still frozen, so I do need to defrost their waters, and then this is what I'm going to do. And then I have my sister's bunny. I take care of her too, as well. And her water is just like this. And if you guys don't have a, like, if you guys don't have this, like, this thing right here to hold your bunny's water, there's a lot of other things that you guys can use. You can use, um, zip ties. You can use, also, um, there's like, there's like wire or something. It's like for gardening. You guys can use that just as well. So let's go ahead and bring these in there. Or you can always use this kind of string right here that my sister uses. Alright guys, so right now I'm walking over to defrost their water and I'll show you the safest way to defrost their water and just make sure that it's clean inside and just what I do to care for their water. I'm in the bathroom and I have their water jugs. But the first thing I'll just do is just rinse them off with hot water. So if you're anywhere where it's like really cold, rinse them off with hot water and get all the ice out and I'll tell you what to do next. So I just finished filling up their water and I just defrosted it, but I'm not gonna clean them out today because they're not that dirty. But if you do wanna clean them out, then you can put on the top parts in the dishwasher and the three, like I wouldn't put them in the dishwasher, these three, because they could melt. But um, you could clean them out with some stuff, like put some hot soap and water into the containers and then leave them sit out for like a while, maybe like two days, and then take them out and then they'll be clean. So let's go ahead and bring these out to the bunnies. guys so I like I said before you can clean them do whatever you want but now I'm just going to give them to the bunnies and um, the important thing is that they have water daily usually I just do it once in the morning and not at nighttime because usually I just come out here in the morning to do the bunnies and chickens ducks and other animals that we have but um, that's just how I do their food or their water I should say and uh, you can also clean out their water dish your their food bowls. Okay, and then the last thing that I have to do is just give this guy his water. And like I said before, with these things, there's this one right here, which is just like this little wire. It's also for gardening, but you can use it for bunnies, water, which is what I use it for. And it just goes in here like this, and it helps hold his water up because we don't have one of those things so small to hold this one up. Okay, so now let's go right on to their food care. So for their food care, 
in here this thing just like slides like this but I do have in here is their cages and it's divided in half because we do have a female and a male and it's divided in half on both sides so as you guys can see over in here there is this that divides it in half so they can't get past that and they can't get under it either and it's both on both sides and then when you open the bottom one as well there is chicken wiring so she can't get to him and he cannot get to her and so that is how we divided it when it it didn't come divided but we did it ourselves and this is homer come here homer come say hi to the camera good boy oh hello hi good boy you want to say hi to the camera yeah good boy and this is homer this is the male he's blind in this eye but that's okay yes yeah, say hi say hi you good boy you don't want to jump out of your cage, do ya? Okay, and um, another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is if you do look forward to feeding them anything, I would feed them some dried cranberries. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to take out their food dishes because I'm going to get out their food. And there's just these two right here. And I'm going to show you guys basically how I care for their food. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so this is the storage. This is where I keep all the animals' food. Um, hey, anything that's for like the small animals, not the other animals. So in here, there's the lights, and you guys come in here with me. We have this whole storage unit, and each one of those buckets over there has food in them. So I'll go and show you guys what I have over here. So this one is the bunny's food. This one is for the chickens, dog, and the horse. Well, the horse we used to have. But this is the, uh, the bunny's food is in here. And I keep it stored here. And it doesn't really matter. You don't have to measure your bunny's food of the amount of how much you want to give to them. But usually I just give them three scoops. But since she already had a little bit in hers, I'll give her two. And then same with him. I'll get, just give her that much. One, two, three. And so I'll just give them three scoops to start. Usually in the morning, sometimes not always they have food left over in the morning, but that's just how I do their food. Alright guys, so back over here. Also, I put this thing on here on purpose, so one good tip for running a uh, ranch is that you never leave things lying out. Okay, so now I'm going to put their food in here. You just open it, and then he has this one. He has this one. Alright guys, so for the bunnies, they have like a lot of other treats and like dry foods that I can give them. But I'm going to show you something that you can give to your bunnies. The first thing that you can give to your bunnies is bananas, because they are allowed to have bananas, just not every single day, and not like, let's say five bananas. Not that much, because that's way too much. But, um... And you can also get them cranberries. So I'm going to go and get those two and give it to them. And yeah, I'll also show you guys me cutting it up and how I would give it to them. So let's As you can see right now I have a banana and some cranberries so I don't use too much if you guys are thinking of giving your bunny this much don't because that is way too much for one bunny so we can give them just a little bit like this for one bunny this for one bunny and this for the other bunny also one thing to remember is that red cranberries do cause red urine which is not good for bunnies so only a tiny bit is good for them but this is also kind of like the stuff in um, the dry food bag that they have for bunnies and I'll show it to you right here it's right here guys okay so let me ha go ahead and give these to the bunnies all right so I'm gonna give him some this is my sister's bunny that I take care of and I'm just gonna give him a tiny bit and they do like them as you guys can see he likes eating my cranberries okay Alright guys, so now, as you guys can see, I put a little bit in Ashley's thing. That's just, 
that's as bad as much as they can have. Like maybe once a week, no more than that. This is a little treat here and there. Get him the rest. There we go. And that is their dried fruit mix, I should say. Okay, and so now over to the banana. So a banana is not that great for a bunny, but I mean, junk food's not good for us either, so it doesn't really matter. We still like it, and so do they. So I'm just gonna cut the top off like that, and then peel the banana. And let me see if I can do that. All right, guys, so for the bunnies, um, how I cut it is I just cut the banana in half, just like that. And then once it's in half, then I cut it. Just like that. So then they're in like small little pieces. And then I just break them off because usually they stick together because it's a banana. And they usually always do. Alright, so now let's go ahead and give these. Ugh, stop. Alright, guys, so I'm going to give him some too as well. Just a little bit of the banana. They don't need that much. Like I said, same with the cranberries. You don't need to give your buddies so much junk food because it's not that great for them. Bananas don't really cause anything, but they're still not the best. And then over here, we'll give them a little bit too. And also guys, one more thing that I have to tell you about bunnies is that lettuce is not good for their stomach because it does have water in it. And so when their stomach fills up with too much water, they can it can drown themselves from the inside. So if you do have a bunny, make sure that you're not giving it too much lettuce. Maybe just a little tiny bit once a week, but I won't give them that much lettuce. And anything that has like a lot of juice in it, don't give them that a lot of it. So I'm gonna go put these away. All right guys, so now I give them a little bit of hay, but just one also thing, um, alfalfa hay is not good for bunnies. It's not good for their digestive system. And so the good thing that is for them is Timothy hay. You can find it at Walmart, any other places, North 40. Tractor supply, but anyway, it's in here, and I'm gonna show you guys the kind that I use. So this is the kind of hay. That all right, guys. So this is the kind of hay I use. It's Timothy hay, all natural, and right here it even says that it's for bunnies, guinea pigs, and gerbils. I don't, I don't really know what that is. But let's go ahead and give this to them. So I just give them a handful of it, and I don't put it up top because they have the shavings up top, and it's not good for a bunny to digest shavings. So I'll just put a tiny bit in here, just a little handful, just so that it goes sparingly. And this is actually, they actually really like this hay, so. And I'll just put a little bit in this guy's cage. And like maybe two handfuls, so you don't get that much of each handful. Just like, that's enough for one. All right guys, and that's pretty much just what I do for their food and water. So let's go on to the next part of this video. So the next part of this video is grooming, and typically I try to brush them almost every day. So I just use this hairbrush for them. It's not really for the bunnies, but I like to use it. I think it gets out all their loose hairs. And I just like to brush them just a little bit. And get all the loose furs out because it is turning into summer now. And they have a lot of that. And then, typically I check their nails to see if they need to be cut. As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's his nail, right there. Right there. And it doesn't really need to cut right now. But I'm going to go and put him back in his cage. And then Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed my Johnny Care. This isn't really like a full-on bunny care, this is just more mainly like everyday bunny care. But I maybe will do a video later on just about like actual bunny care, like how to trip their nails, trim their nails, how to brush them, and just a lot of other stuff that you guys should probably should know about bunnies if you are getting a new bunny. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and press notifications for more videos. Bye!